Hello guys, it's me Glef back again. Have you ever wondered what you could do to be as cool as the PPs that are in the popular YouTube videos? Want some nice looking characters that you built from the beach at level 1? Well then this video is for you. So I have thought for a long time on making a video that would help beginners and maybe people who die a lot to maybe survive at least orcs to win instead of fight on a PP. First off, PPs do not use any gold, of course, but if you want a chance on some free gold, join my 4000 gold giveaway down in the description and be sure to follow the steps in that video. What I mainly see when I watch people complain that they died on a PP is that they took water above their heads. This is a literal uh, Swedish saying and means that you probably did something you weren't uh, ready for. This could be applied in many situations. Maybe you teleported to Godlands at level 1 or that you tried to stun orcs 2 while having a tier 2 shield and no max stats. Or going into a unlocked orcs sanctuary portal at level 15. Take time with your PPs and don't go into stages you aren't ready for. If you are an endgame player that goes into Orcs 3 with a level 19 character, that's up to you, but you've kinda signed for your own funeral. I would suggest to do things you are meant to do. If you have a lot of low tiered items and just reach level 20, do sprite worlds, UDLs and snake pits at maximum. Take your time and get more speed and equipment that could help you survive your coming encounters with harder dungeons or bosses. This is what I would suggest you doing and focusing on while starting a PP. Do lowland or midland until level 10 or 13. Teleport to godland and kill gods while being near other maxed people. Start with sprite world, snake pets and UDLs to try to focus on maxing speed and dexterity while getting gear in UDLs. Follow every orcs 1 and 2 fight if you reach level 13 or above and you will have a good chance at surviving and doing enough damage for some loot. You don't have to go in on the orcs 1 and 2 fight but just get some damage and try to get some salt bomb. Let's assume you are 4 8 or above now and you are kind of free to do whatever you want except orcs 3. Orcs 3 is probably something you want to focus on when you are 8 8 or 6 8 and hopefully you won't die. If you want a works 3 guide, I can recommend uh, Afro's one he did a while ago, I'll link it down in the description. 10,000 subscribers soon guys, so be sure to subscribe now if you haven't done it. If you aren't that experienced in doing PPs, I would suggest you going uh, with an easier class than a hard class. This might sound too obvious, but it's easier to survive with a paladin or warrior or knight than a trickster. So I would suggest going with the staff class or a melee class. With the staff classes you preferably would take either necro of the insane extra HP you get or the wizard. The spell has just insane potential to give you easy and safe damage to secure your loot. Melees are uh, for the good defense stats. So now that you followed my steps above with taking an easier class and doing the safe steps we can now talk about efficiency. Let's say you have chosen your class. Check what gear you can get from certain dungeons. Try to avoid those dungeons to max out efficiency and not risking your life. Now we're talking about dungeons that doesn't drop any items for your character. If you are a warrior and you got a crown on your 20th shatters, stop doing shatters since there isn't anything in there worth your time. It's better to go out and kill hermits and sphinxes to increase your chances at getting a jug for example. I did see that you liked my how to game uh, fame and if there are any other guide videos you want me to do comment them down below as well. So be efficient with your time and try to make your PPs get that gear they deserve. Also if there's an ST set uh, on an ongoing event that you might can get on your PP I would suggest joining a dungeon running discord and try to do them more efficiently there. Doing dungeons that drop greater potions or maybe two potions would be the best for your, your PP to get maxed as fast as possible. Rather than doing UDLs for wisdom I would suggest doing libraries instead for the combination that you can get wisdom and vitality from the same boss. This also relieves you from doing abysses which can be deadly for an unmixed character. 
I thought of having a tip like this. Do PP with a friend or guild, but I know it's quite hard getting into a good guild as a new player. So if you are in a guild, try to start PPs with some guilds to increase everyone's chances for survival. You could pick three different classes, one could be a priest, one could be a paladin and one could be a wizard. Then you, ha you have the wizard for more damage so the bosses die faster, the priest for the immediate heal that the tome gives and the paladin's buff for all around survivability and more damage. What we I did back in the day were running uh, with a friend was one of us doing a paladin and one were doing a warrior so you can max out the dps for two melees then sometimes we would also have a third person joining in on a night so we could stun orcs two and other bosses back in the days but since they have made almost every boss now immune to stun the knight doesn't have that much of a use sadly if you are starting a pp before an event like Month of the Mad God or the Easter event that they have every week maybe two exaltation dungeons. It's very efficient to go with a PPE that has drops of interest in the locations that there are events in. For example, before the Christmas event I started my Paladin PPE because I saw that there was great potential for me getting a good chance at getting the full marble set from Marble Colossus since there were at the start of the event a uh, marble event. And back when I did a Necro PPE there was a cult event. I started mid event and the next coming event was cult. So I fastly maxed a Necromancer PPE and went into the cultist and trying to get the loot. So try to be efficient with what events you are playing on and when we get the event calendars you can actually plan what PPs you can do. So this is a very smart tactic if you want to maximize your gear and what you can gain to your PP. Rather than doing maybe a samurai during a void event and a marble event try to do an archer, maybe a paladin, maybe knight, you could get the sword and armor from Colossus and the, maybe Omni from the void. So try to be efficient. So these tips would be my major tips for people creating PPs and I hope I answered some of your questions in this video. This video took quite some time and I would be happy if you liked and commented the video. What is your tip for making a PP? Comment down below. Take these tips with a pinch of salt, this is just my general tips since I've seen a demand for a video like this, but you don't have to follow each of these steps, but hopefully something helped you along the way. Join my Discord server and post a picture of your coming PP with maybe using some of my tips and show how successful or maybe how unsuccessful they are. But that's everything for today guys, and I'll see you guys later. Be sure to join my 4000 gold giveaway and yeah, it's finally time. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.